Good morning, good morning to everyone. Happy Monday. It is September 16th of 2024. We are going to be doing our first podcast video called What is the Word? And I've been wanting to do this for a while now. And I finally had the courage to, you know, buy a camera and invest into a nicer camera and um, start putting these videos on my YouTube channel, but also on my Facebook uh, page and Instagram. So very excited today. Guys, what this podcast is about is basically just reading the gospel. The gospel um, in our church, in our Catholic church, uh, is, is a scripture, scripture of the, of, of the Bible that talks about, you know, different things every day gospel changes you know there's four four uh four books and but we'll, we'll go into that later what, what's more important here today is that you hear the word of god and uh that that's the point the point is that i want a positive video that's gonna motivate you to give you something to to think about and ponder about and you know and 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 be able to take with your day today you know, and uh, maybe you're seeing this in the morning, in the afternoon, or at night. The point is that you hear the Word of God. You know, and in anything, we're going to start, and I'm just going to read to you the uh, Gospel for today. And we will begin in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It says in Luke... 7 1 through 10 when jesus had finished all his words to the people he answered capernaum a centurion there had a slave who was ill and about to die and he was valuable to him when he heard about jesus he sent elders of the jews to him asking him to come and save the life of his slave they approached jesus and strongly urged him to come saying he deserves to have you do this for him for he loves our nation, and he built the synagogue for us. And Jesus went with them. But when he was only a short distance from the house, the centurion sent friends to tell him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Therefore, I did not consider myself worthy to come to you. But say the word, and let my servant be healed. For, two, for I too am a person subject to authority, with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, here, and he comes. And to my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him, and turning, said to the crowd following him, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. When the messengers returned to the house, they found the slave in good health. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Wow! Today's word talks about the faith of a centurion. The centurion who sent some Jews and said, Hey, uh, can you go to Jesus, this guy, Jesus? You know, I heard about him. Can you go to Jesus and ask him? Ask him to save my, my slave. You know, this is one of my best slaves. You know, he helped me build the synagogue. You know, he pleaded for him. You know? And it just makes me think about the word interceding. And the word interceding means, you know, we ask. You know, if, if you come up to me and say, Emer, can you pray for me? Yes, I can pray for you. That's me interceding for you. That's the easily, easiest and most simplest way for me to explain it to you. You know, there's a lot of people that intercede for us. Maybe our mother, our father, our brothers or sisters, our siblings, our family, even our friends, and even some strangers. So today, the word, the word is, we should have faith like this century. He had so much faith that he said, just, just heal him, Jesus. I don't even know you, but, just, but heal him. For somebody not knowing Jesus, but just asking him that, to me is amazing. Jesus is like, whoa, who is this? He doesn't know me, but he's asking me. You know, and, and I just think about us. I think about myself. You know, 
Have I asked Jesus to help me? Or to help my family? Or do I figure it out on my own? Do I say, hey, I don't need anything. Pride. Right there. I don't need anything. I can give him medicine. And I'm good. Is that what God wants from you? Does he want you to have that? I don't think so. And this weekend, I took a retreat. And it made me touch things that I did not feel comfortable. I struggle with pride. I struggled with pride. I don't say I struggle now. I can say I'm free. I'm unbound from that. Humility. That's what he wants. He wants you to be humble. He wants you to come to him. If you're watching this video right now, it was meant for a reason for you to watch this video. He wants you to come to him. Look for him. Everybody has problems. Everybody has issues. Everybody has disagreements. Everybody has their own struggles. But he just wants you to come to him. Even if it's through a prayer. Even if it's if you go to church. He just wants you to come to him. He wants you to put your faith in him. And not in worldly things. Not in alcohol. Not in women. Not in pornography. Not in masturbation. Not in anything. Not in drugs. Nothing. Nothing will fill that void that you have right now but Him. And that's what He wants. He just wants you to say, you know what, let me give this a try. Give Him a try. You gave everything else a try, but why not give Him a try? Tell Him, God, I'm going through this struggle right now. God, I'm going through this. God, I'm going through that. Do that. Help me, God. God, help me. Can you do that? That's all he wants. But some of us, we get mad at him. <laughs> if God really existed, why did this happen to me? He doesn't exist. Out of every bad situation, God will turn it into something great. The moment you least thought he was there, he was always there. He just wants you to have faith and look to him. That's it. It's not hard. Well, for some it might be hard. That's the message. It's very simple today. Just look to Him. Look to Him, Jesus. And say, I can't do this. I can't. And you will see how He will lift you up. You will see the promises that He makes, that He keeps. His word is bond. I love that word, bond. Jesus' word is bond. God's word is bond. He keeps his promises. He's not like a dad or mom who tells his kids, hey, we're going to do this and doesn't keep that word. And that's been me sometimes. I say, hey, yeah, we're going to go do that. And then later on, I'm like, uh, I changed my mind. You know, I really don't want to do that. We're humans. But just give him a chance. You know, maybe your mom or dad wasn't there for you or you felt alone. You said, where are you, God? He was there. God's a gentleman. He won't. He'll wait for you. 
He'll wait for you to call him to ask him to be there. And he'll be like, hey, I was always here. You just never let yourself love me. You never let me love you. And this weekend at this retreat that I took, I let him in. I said, I here I am. I said, take away this pride. Take away everything that I have. That's not helping me. That's not making me a better person today. And I did it. And I'm happy. I woke up this morning tired. Five hours of sleep because we got home late last night. But here we are. Here we are today. Monday, early in the morning. Ready to start my day. Ready to tell everyone how amazing God is. How he changed my life. How he's changing my life. He's helping me with my marriage. He's helping me with the relationship with my kids. He's helping me with my business. He helps me with everything. Everywhere I go, I see God. And I want you guys to have that experience. I want you guys to see God's mercy and God's love. But there's things that we got to heal. And that's what we did this weekend. We healed. We were unbound from these things that, that we carried for years since we were young kids. You'd be amazed at how much grace you receive when you forgive. You know, I came back home and I was like, man, I want to talk to everybody. I want to just ask everybody to forgive me because I'm not perfect. But before I ask everybody to forgive me for my flaws and mistakes, I ask God. And the Catholic Church has a beautiful thing called confession. And I love it. Because not only do we say what we did, but we hear through. And, and this is how the priest works. He's interceding. He's like Jesus. He's like God. That moment, you know. He's being guided by the Holy Spirit to say what he has to say to forgive us of our sins. And then at the end, we, we go and receive the, the communion, the bread that we eat. And we believe in that bread is the, the body of Jesus. The same way he did at the Last Supper, he said, in this bread is my body. Those of you who eat of it will have life. I want life. I don't know about y'all, but I love I love living. I love having experiences. I love going out with my kids, my family. I, I love fishing. I love crabbing. I love camping. I mean, I do guy stuff. I work in construction. Like, I love that stuff. But I don't get submerged in it so much that I forget about God. And if I do, which sometimes I do, I make mistakes, I go back. I said, look, God, I'm sorry. I got a little bit obsessed with fishing. I got a little bit obsessed with camping. I got a little bit obsessed with tools. I got a little bit obsessed with, you know, mowing lawns because, you know, you want to get those lines straight and stuff like that. Or I got too busy with my business. But there's always time for God. When you don't have time is when you are dead. It's too late. Bye-bye. And all these things you were running around for, all these tools, all this money, all this fame, everything you were working for, you don't take none of that. You leave it. All this stuff stays. God says don't worry about things. Worry about godly things, which is me. Worry on me, God. Worry on me, guys, and I'll take care of you. That's what God says to you. Men, I know you carry that with you. I got to provide. Women, single moms, I got to provide for my kids. I got to be both, the role of dad and mom. 
Your kids come to you for guidance. Who do you go to? Don't go drinking. Don't go taking drugs. Don't, don't, don't look to that. Look to him. The way the centurion looked to Jesus to save his slave, that's the same way that Jesus is telling you today. Look to me for everything that you have. Have faith in me. That's it. That's the message for today. That's what the word is today. What's the word? I love that. My friend gave me that title. I love it. He helped me, you know. I love it. What's the word? What's the word? Question mark. What's the word? That's the word. He wants you to come to him. That's it. And I pray for you guys. I pray for all of you. Everyone is going to look at this video. May God bless you today, this Monday. God bless you. Take care, and we'll see you next time. I'm definitely going to be posting more videos. Stay tuned. Like, subscribe, follow my YouTube page, and definitely watch me if, if, if you like the message. We're not going to talk about worldly things here. We're going to talk about God and what He wants for us. Take care. God bless.